So today I'm going to show you what the Titan Solar Generator is. Now I've got it right here, weighing in at 66 pounds. It is a little heavy, but not too bad. Now what I love about the Titan is a number of things. First of all, the battery does disconnect from the power module. It has these clips on the side. You disconnect both clips and then you're easily able to disconnect this and carry it around very easily. It has a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter, a 2000 watt hour battery, and it is recommended that if you have to continuously run more than 1500 watts non-stop or very often, that you add a second battery. So I would buy a second battery, add it to this, reprogram it so that way it has double the amount of amp hours listed here. That way I get a proper readout on the screen. And that's really simple. All you have to do is hold the OK button. Gets into programming. Shows the capacity right here. I can select OK. And then I can toggle through by pushing OK the different numbers. Select and change what it needs to be. When I'm done with that, hit the back button and hit the back button and I'm back to the home screen. Very, very simple to use. It has a 15 amp limit on both sides of the power module here, which is really nice. Besides the fact that it has six outlets is that I can get 15 amps here and 15 amps here. So a total of 30 amps, which is gonna allow me to run everything that I need to run. My fridge, freezer, fans, lights, laptops, phone chargers, food dehydrator, heating element on a cook stove, such as a single or a double burner, shop vac, drill press, chop saw, all of those different things is gonna be really easy to run without overloading the system. And then here we've got these DC plugs. These do come with double three amp chargers here. So if I need to charge my phone, I can do it simply right here. This plugs all the way in. If I don't need it, then I have access to the whole port in whatever way that I want. And I can do that with all four. It'll come with four of these adapters for a total of eight USB chargers, as well as some that have USB-C. Now this does have an AC-DC as well as a DC only option. So if I only need to use these DC plugs, well, then I can just switch it to DC. Normally for me, I'm using an AC-DC because I mostly use the AC plugs. It does have these reset breakers here. So if I were to overuse this, all I have to do is push the button, reset it. I don't have to get inside internally and reset anything. As well as this reset button is for the DC plugs. And then if I over amp that somehow, then I got a fuse here that I can uh, easily pull out. I have this common fuse and I can just put that in and I'm good to go again. Now what's gonna come with the Titan standard is you will get one Anderson power pole to MC4 adapter. And what this does is it allows me to connect solar panels up to 1000 watts right here. And it doesn't matter which plug I use, there are two here, and that's because this has two MPPT charge controllers in it. So I can use either one, very easy. This is a very common connector. That's one of the things I love about the Titan is it uses common connectors. So if something were to break, I can get these readily at almost any electronic store and fix it. It will also come with this adapter, which is your panel reset cable. Basically, this port here that has the cover on it is called an SAE plug, which is this right here. And let's say somehow I drained this all the way to zero and needed to reset it, but there was no grid power. I could easily plug this in plug in one single 100 watt panel to it, let it sit for 10, 20 seconds, or even a couple of minutes, and that will reset the battery, so that way it'll turn back on and charge easily. The other item that will come with it is a car charger. Now it is limited to 15 amps. If your car charger DC port inside your car is rated to 10 amps, well then you'll either need to get a different fuse, but make sure that you're not going to damage your vehicle in any way. Most come with an 18 amp or 15 amp or even a 20 amp fuse. And that'll plug straight here into this SAE port as well. It does come with an AC wall charger. It is pretty big, and what I like about that is that it's ventilated. All the other solar generators I've ever used have a much smaller AC charger, but no fans inside of it, which means it gets incredibly hot. So what I usually end up doing is putting the AC charger in front of the exhaust fans to help keep it cool, because it can get so hot that it's painful to pick up. Whereas this, because it has the fans built in, it's much bigger, but it stays cool. And with electronics, you wanna keep them cool to keep them efficient. And with all of that, you're able to use your own solar panels if you already have some or would like to purchase them elsewhere. I personally like the Flex 100 because after testing over two and a half dozen different solar panels that are the flexible kind, for my focus, it's a portable system. The Flex 100 are by far the best ones out there. Even on days like today where it's partially hazy in the sky, 
I can get 75 or 80 watts out of my panels, which is incredible since most other panels would actually only be getting about 40 to 35 watts. So it almost doubles the amount of power I can get versus other panels. So for me, it's absolutely worth a few bucks more. Now this second port here is if I had a second battery, I could buy a second AC wall charger and I could have them both plugged in and they will charge at about 600 watts. And so I can have up to 1200 watts of AC wall charging going into it, but you only want to get that if you have a second battery and really want to be able to charge that fast. This port here is for expansion batteries. Now the Titan is a 24 volt system, so if you do want to add external batteries, I recommend that they be a lithium base, preferably lithium ion. And then all you have to do is get the adapter plug here, connect it into your batteries, make sure it's 24 volts, and then reprogram the screen for how many amp hours it is, and it'll use them just no problem at all. The Titan has an infinite amount of batteries you can add to it, but it is limited to up to 2000 watts of solar panels going in for a max of 140 volts and 30 amps into each solar port. One of the coolest things that I like about it is this RV plug. Because this has a 3000 watt inverter and it has the expandable batteries and I can make it really any size I want, it's really easy to connect this into my travel trailer or RV or whatever and have my panels either sitting up on the roof or on a stand outside and I can run this just like a gas generator but it can be inside where it's nice and warm. I don't have to worry about chaining up my generator. I don't have to worry about turning it off at 10 o'clock or whatever time the RV camp says quiet time is. And those are the reasons why I love the Titan so much. As of right now, there is nothing like this on the market. Absolutely the best available for its expandability, its built-in power, and how many plugs it has. There's just nothing that comes close to it. Some of the things that I recommend as extras for the Titan are these chainable USB lights. You can find these on powerportablesolar.com. And the advantage of them is they're 200 lumens, so they're decently bright. And they have six foot USB cables that can link together. And about three or four lights is all you need to hang up around camp or around the RV, around the tent, around the house or whatever. And it'll give you plenty of light. And it also has a slip diffuser option. So you can make it more like a lantern or you can slip the diffuser up and it'll be bright everywhere. The other things I recommend are getting something like this, which is a kilowatt meter. I can plug this in in my house, plug my refrigerator into it, let it run for about 24 hours, and it'll tell me exactly how much power has been used over that 24 hours, so that way I can get an estimate of how much power I need to have in store and in my panels and be able to run that easily. The other thing I recommend is getting an outlet timer. Now these are commonly available at local hardware stores and I'll provide a link below to all these extras as well. But the reason I like it is because I will plug my refrigerator and freezer into this and run it for 15 minutes of every hour when the power is out and that allows me to cut my power usage from my fridge and freezer to about half of what it's originally using and greatly save how much power my battery is having to put out. I also recommend getting this cable carry case. It just makes everything really simple. I can have my Titan in one spot and all my cables, connectors, adapters, everything in one other spot. It makes it really easy to make sure I don't misplace anything because there's nothing worse than getting out into the woods or having to evacuate from a hurricane or a flood, getting to my location and finding out I don't have my adapter and the whole thing doesn't work. I also recommend a solar panel carry case. And the reason is, is one, it makes it easy to move a bunch of them around at the same time. But two, it also keeps them protected from dirt, snow, water, whatever. Now this panel carry case is a common one that I use, but it doesn't have a shoulder strap. Although it's very lightweight and will easily fit five or six 100 watt flexible panels in it without any worry of it ripping or anything like that. So it looks like this. I've actually got seven solar panels in here. Very easy to carry around. So those are some of the things that I recommend getting in addition to the Titan to make life a lot easier for carrying solar panels, cables, having light around camp or whatever it is. Those are all different types of things that I use. I hope you found this really helpful. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe with your friends, especially those that may be affected by constant power outages or enjoy the outdoors and want a reliable, powerful system that they can use out and about. If you have any questions, please email me at info at poweredportablesolar.com or you can visit the contact page on the website poweredportablesolar.com slash contact. And for a full review of the Titan, feel free to check out my other videos as well as the website poweredportablesolar.com for a detailed review. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.